Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. As with the food of so many cultures, beans are apparently a very big deal in Italian cuisine. I say apparently because as an outsider, I feel like I never had that perception. Pasta, pizza, that's kind of the Italian food I grew up with. Didn't see a lot of Italian bean dishes. Harper, in Italy, we cook a lot of beans from the north to the south. And here there is a lot of things to teach you. What can I do today is at least teach you two or three things about Italian beans. Two or three things will do. It's two or three things more than I knew before. <laughs> The first thing that I'm going to cook is cannellini beans, that is one of the most common Italian beans. And they are also known as the meat of poor people, because back in the past people they eat beans more than meat. I will cook my cannellini beans in the traditional terracotta pot. Put them in cold water and cook them for about two hours, two hours and a an half, until they are soft. Check always the water of your cannellini beans, because if they become too dry, you need to add more water. It's very important that you don't season your cannellini beans before they are ready, because otherwise the skin outside will be very, very tough. So put the salt at the end. Just add some uh, spicy pepper if you like it, a clove of garlic, and that's it. Never stir your cannellini beans with a spoon, but just, uh, how do you say, squeeze them. Shake. Shake them. Don't, so, don't squeeze them. Don't squeeze them, shake them, <laughs> because this uh, makes your cannellini be whole, no break. No. If you squeeze them, they will definitely break. See, no, just, uh, <laughs> just shake them, but no stir, don't squeeze. <laughs> now that my cannellini beans are ready, I'm going to start to prepare uh, my home-style cannellini beans dish. In my hometown, we eat the cannellini beans with uh, stale bread. I prepare a loaf of fresh bread, then I just uh, broke it, put back in the oven at very low temperature, and let it uh, there until he becomes uh, like uh, that. And this is very interesting because it was uh, the way in which uh, people kept the bread because they didn't cook the bread every day so if they made the bread part of it was just uh, toast, toasted like that i love it i could eat kilos of pane toasto mamma che buono Albert is still good i think it's time we do a bread video Guys, leave a comment down below if you want to see how Ava makes her bread. You also need to roast some pepper until they are soft and the skin easily will come out. Remember that after you cook the pepper, you need to wrap them in parchment paper and let them cool so it will be very, very easy to peel them. This dish I am very familiar with because your dad eats it every single day. Uh, more or less, yes. I grew up hating beans. I mean, hating beans, truly hating beans. If beans were for dinner, I was going to bed hungry until I had this dish. Uh, 
Calabria rules. When uh, I spent a lot of time far from my home, this was the dish that I always asked my mom the first night that I was at home eating with them. So for me, this dish is home. It looks stupidly simple. I mean, it is really simple, but it doesn't, you, you don't understand how good it is until, well, let, let's, let's just eat it. See, let's eat because. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of the bread, which is now soaked up the bean, what would you call it? Juices? Mm. Water. Water. No, water of the beans. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Sometimes I hate showing you guys this kind of dish because you truly, truly will not believe, just looking at it, how amazingly delicious it is. I could eat this every single day. I could eat this every meal of every day. Sometimes there isn't nothing better than a plate of beans. Try it with a good olive oil. Try it with some spicy pepper. Doesn't really matter what kind, does it? No, it doesn't really matter. Also, don't forget that by itself is a completely meal because you have carbs, protein, vegetables, and fat. All the things that you need in one dish. Unless you're Pythagoras. Because Pythagoras didn't eat beans. No, no. He, in his ancient Greek cult, said that they were forbidden to eat beans, and no one to this day knows why. It couldn't have been because they tasted bad. Also, he was in Italy. I know. And he in didn't Calabria. Eat... I know, and he didn't eat beans, so. I have a question, though. Mm. In America, the one sort of Italian bean dish that I, as a non-Italian, can think of is uh, pasta fagiol. Pasta fagiol, pasta fag fagiol. Whatever it is, the Dean Martin song. <laughs> when the stars make you drool, just like pasta fagioli, let's Pasta fagioli, Harper. So it's a real Italian thing? Yes. In Italy, we have pasta fagioli. The only thing is that from the north to the south, we have at least 100 different recipes. Surprise, surprise. Well, you want to show me one of them? I can show you my favorite. Pasta fagioli dish. In order to make my pasta fagioli, I'm going to use the same beans that we eat before. So you can see that also if you cook a big pot of beans, you can have different kind of dishes. To make our sauce, we use some beans, a clove of garlic, olive oil, and a little bit of whole peeled tomatoes. If you have tomato puree, you can also use tomato puree. And now we we'll leave them cook for about 15 minutes, no more. For pasta e fagioli, you can use a lot of kinds of pasta. You can use spaghetti, as my mother, you can use bucatini, you can use penne. You can use, uh, I don't know how do you call it here uh, in America, con conchiglie. Uh, shells? Shells, but not the big one, the small one. Today, I'm going to use my favorite pasta for beans, which means fileia uh, calabresi. extremely excited because, as many of you guys probably know, this is my favorite pasta. The pasta itself, I've never had it with beans, but the pasta itself, filea, is my favorite. You know how we call this in Calabrese. Pasta suriaca. Macaruna, Macaruna e suriaca. <laughs> Thank you. 
for sure my favorite uh, pasta with beans. And there is a big difference here uh, from this dish of pasta or usually as we use in the south or how they eat pasta with beans in the north. Because in the north they eat with a spoon. Oh, it's kind of more of a soup, right? Yes. That's what I think is more common here. In the south we eat pasta with beans with a fork. It's literally pasta with beans. Yes, <laughs> because for us, you eat with a spoon when you are sick. And because we are not sick, we eat with a fork. Let's try it. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. <laughs> While you decide if you like or not, I keep eating. Oh, I've decided. <laughs> the beans make it so, like, creamy and rich and... It's very important that after you cook the pasta, you mix the pasta with the beans and let the beans just, um, how do you say, let the pasta absorb the, the sauce of the beans a little bit. So you have this creaminess. I also think macaruna is like the perfect pasta for this because, okay, this kind of pasta, it's very thick. And so it has a wonderful gradient from the center which can be quite chewy, have a lot of bite to it, and the outside, which is extremely soft and silky. And then the, the beans sort of expand, this sounds crazy, the <laughs> beans expand that range by being extremely sort of soft and tender around that. I know that sounds nuts. This pasta is amazing, I can't, we should just make a whole video on this pasta. I love this pasta so much. This is maybe the only kind of pasta in the Italian cuisine that the day after can be also much better. Really? <laughs> when it's very, as we say, azzeccata, which means very, <laughs> how do you say? Like thickened. Yes, <laughs> and it's so good. Just a drop of olive oil in a very hot uh, pan. No? Put the pasta there, stir a little bit and eat, mamma mia. I was gonna say we should wait till tomorrow and save some of this and shoot that, but there's not gonna be any of this left over, let's be honest. So Eva, I love Westerns. You love Westerns. Lasciali qua. So I have a request for one more recipe. Is there an Italian version of cowboy beans? You are talking with the country who master the Western movies. So yes, we have <laughs> cowboy beans, Italian style. Well, since we're making cowboy beans, I think we should head outside. It ain't party, but that's not what cowboy beans are all about. For the Italian style cowboy beans, we are going to use borlotti beans. Pasta. I'm going to cook the beans with uh, onion, uh, sage, olive oil, and uh, bacon. And I use bacon because we are talking about American cowboys, because if they were authentic Italian cowboys, I was going to use pancetta. But guys, they are still Italian beans, so I'm going to add some tomatoes. Our cowboy beans are ready, and because they are cowboy beans, we are going to eat them as a cowboy. No molasses, no brown sugar. You call these cowboy beans? They actually look really good. They look like good cowboy beans. These are fagioli alla Bud Spencer or fagioli alla Trinità.
We're armed with our cowboy spoons here. I made this spoon. No, I bought this spoon. <laughs> no. We've got our, our cowboy bread here. Our cowboy we have our, sourdough bread. Our cowboy bread. <laughs> Bravo. You know how Terence Hill uh, eat the beans. I'm a cowboy. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Oh, that is so good. Mm, yeah. That is so good. This started off as a joke, but this is the best dish of the day. I don't know if it's the best dish of the day, but for sure, Italian cowboys, they knew how to eat beans. I'm so in love with this dish. This is inspired to an Italian dish that is fagioli e lucelletta, that is a dish traditionally from Tuscany. And when they made the, the movie, okay. Lo chiamavano Trinità, Terence Hill, who, is, who was a Trinità, this cowboy, he was uh, without any food for two days. Then, when they need to make the shot of him eating the beans, they put in front of him a pot full, a pan full of beans, and he eats like he never saw food in his life. I've eaten plenty today, but this dish is making me eat like <laughs> I haven't seen food all my life. In between me and you, you are uh, more cowboy than me, for sure. So is... <laughs> I'll take it. Is this... Uh... <laughs> what, what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's loving these beans. Is this uh, an approved dish from uh, a real American cowboy? Speaking as a bona fide cowboy. Without any question. Yes, these are approved cowboy beans. Those will make any cowboy say, Mamma mia! Yeah, I can think of the cowboys <laughs> saying, Oh, Mamma mia! They did! It was one of the calls to the like cattle as they'd rank, you know, hey, yeah. We thought Mamma mia! Them. <laughs> Guys, if you're like I was and you don't like beans, give these recipes a shot because I. I guarantee you they will change your mind. And if you do like beans, then you definitely have to try them. If you do, tag us in a picture on social media, at Pasta Grammar. We'd love to see what you come up with. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Ta -da! Ta -da! Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat beans for every meal. What is toot means?